Hey Internet, Elliot from Unlock Audio here, and I thought I would take the time today to show you a setup and kind of workaround or solution that I've found for one creating videos and or using streaming services for a teaching uh, for a teaching purpose. So if you're someone who say finally has the time to create that video series or go over a topic in detail or like me, you also teach and want to be able to create some videos that students can watch on their own, this is a way to do it. And then also, if you're someone who is teaching online synchronously with a number of other people, say in Zoom meetings or other uh, screen sharing and meeting services, this is a solution for you as well that allows you to talk. They can hear what you're saying. You can hear what the audio application you're using is, like say Pro Tools or Ableton or Reaper or something that's using an ASIO driver. And at the same time, if you want to play a YouTube video or a video file or other audio file, you can just play it on your end and everyone on the call is going to hear that same audio as well. So I think it's something that can be useful for a lot of people. Let's walk through it. And I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any questions, of course, throw them in the comments and I'll answer them best I can. Hey there, I am making this video to help out folks who would like to either teach classes on Zoom and have the greatest flexibility, um, but are also using advanced audio applications or just any applications that use ASIO drivers. Um, I know Pro Tools specifically likes to basically take control of all the audio um, for a particular driver and doesn't allow any other applications to use it, it can make it really difficult if say you're screen sharing and want to share the audio in your session with your class um, and have it so you can hear it as well. And at the same time, if you want to then bring up a YouTube video or play something else outside of the application and have that heard, streamed, and recorded by OBS if you're making a video, or again on Zoom if you're making a call, um, that's not really possible just because of the way Pro Tools and ASAO works. I found a workaround that I think is going to be really helpful for everyone. So I'm gonna quickly show you all the capabilities of how things are set up, and then I'll go into all the specific settings. So first off, right now I'm using OBS to record this video, and you can see my screen capture here. I have two monitors, so I just have it capturing one monitor, an area in the monitor. And right now you can hear me talking and you should also be able to hear Pro Tools playing. Just have some general footsteps there. I'm also, this is going to look very crazy because OBS is control or uh, recording this one monitor, but I want you to see what's happening in terms of the inputs and outputs here. So I'm gonna bring it down and watch down here, you can see that it's recording my microphone feed, but also bring this up and it's recording this audio out from Pro Tools at the same time, right? Additionally, let me scroll this up here. If I right now want to say play a YouTube video or play an audio file um, not in Pro Tools, but say through Windows Media Player or something else. I'm just gonna use YouTube as an example. I can bring this down, and as I play this. And welcome to another episode of Free Plugin Weekly. In this video, I wanna show I can you still a talk. free you drum can still sampler instrument. And yet we're able to hear that audio just fine from the other source, right? So complete flexibility in terms of bringing things up, right? It's, it's as close as possible to having someone sitting next to you and just looking at the same screen that you are. So let's go into all the specifics of how this is set up. This is all possible because of a virtual audio device that I found here for free. Um, I have it muted here, so I just don't hear any of this in my ears right now. Um, I will say if you're going to use Zoom with this, you do have to unmute this hardware input and you do have to hear yourself talking while you're talking to everyone else, but that's the only redundancy in terms of audio. Everything else, everyone just hears the pure output from your speakers. Um, I have my speaker monitors off and I'm listening on headphones whenever I'm on a Zoom call. Um, and all you have to do is make sure that your hardware input is whatever your interface is or whatever you want your microphone to be for Zoom. Uh, OBS is uh, going directly to my interface, but with the way Zoom functions, you need to tell 
zoom, well, I'll just show you the settings. So let me bring that up here. Settings, audio, and you'll see that the microphone for zoom is this voice meter input output, right? Um, and then the speaker of it is my, um, my actual audio interface. So the audio is going out from Zoom so I can hear other students talking directly to my interface. I just have speaker monitors turned down so I'm hearing that in my headphones. The microphone itself is the output of this voice meter, okay? So whatever is going out from this voice meter is what's going to be used as my microphone when I'm talking to my students on Zoom, which is why I need to use the hardware input here. This is the microphone plugged into my interface. And then this virtual input here is basically a different driver and playback engine that Pro Tools is routing through. And then from there, it's then going to my interface so I can hear the playback. And then the speakers here are just the, the main default routing that is in Windows already. Some of you may have, I think it's called Realtek something speaker or other, but it'll say speakers, Steam streaming speakers, Realtek, something along those lines. It's just the default routing for Windows. But with that setup, that allows me to have all of my Pro Tools audio go to Zoom, all of my Pro Tools audio be picked up by OBS, and um, it also allows at the same time for um, Zoom as well as um, other applications uh, to to essentially be heard through this voice meter output. So again, you want to make this your microphone input, make this your VB audio voice meter bio that should be, be automatic. And in Pro Tools itself, you're going to want to go to Setup and Playback Engine and make sure that Playback Engine is the voice meter virtual ASIO, right? It's going to then route everything through there. One shortcoming is you do have to have this open whenever you're using Pro Tools. So just put a shortcut on the desktop, make sure that you have it opened up. In order to access this and download it, I'm going to bring up the web page here. So it is that URL. Or if you just Google VB Audio Voice Meter, spelled with two E's, it's really easy for you to find it, download it, it's totally free. Um, Again, this has an incredible amount of flexibility. And, oh, you know what? Let me go into the settings within OBS as well if you want to use this to screen record any lectures or anything like that. Within OBS audio, we have the desktop audio device as, um, well, I won't get into it. I have like room calibration software and whatnot, but this is your general audio out, um, whatever your routing through and then the this is the default audio for your operating system so here speakers steam stream speed right um, that is showing that that's how I'm able to pick up all of the audio both from Pro Tools as well as other applications and whatnot because all the audio is going through either this route or this route but it's only happening because it's essentially all being routed through here and then being sent multiple places um, some of these selections may look a bit different for you. Obviously, I have a Focusrite USB audio interface. Um, your interface selection may look different. And again, the difference between that Steam streaming speakers as opposed to real tech audio and whatnot. Um, so there's some slight caveats here for each individual person, but on a conceptual level, I hope this lays out how you can create this setup for you. It'll be really helpful, again, for conducting classes on Zoom, recording lectures in advance. If you have any questions on how to set this up or any specifics of this, please just um, put a, a question in the comments and I'll answer it as soon as I can, or feel free to shoot me an email as well. Thanks.